Both of these polygels I'll be using are temperature changing. One is red and the other is orange and they're both by Yoyogi. And this is my first time doing polygel with tips. Hey nail tubers, what is up nailification squad? And hello to you if you're new. I'm so happy to see you on this beautiful Sunday. This is the one way I hadn't done polygel yet, and I've been so surprised by the compliments. You've seen these in a few videos already. They were done over a month ago, right behind the polygel nails with the cute pom-poms. And as you can see, I have that set on my other hand with the pom-pom removed. And I finally got an opportunity to edit this. This method is actually very easy. All you have to do is apply and prep the nail tips, which was already done off camera to save time. Then, just start laying the poly gel, which you see that I'm already started. So for this nail, and I'm thinking the index finger too, I'm going for a blended fade of one color to the next. Kind of like an ombre, but this being my first time, I didn't know what to expect with the temperature change. So I just laid the colors at the same time and started working it into shape. I cured each layer for 60 seconds on one side and then 60 seconds on the other. So this is what it looks like coming out from the lamp temperature. And you know what, as much as I've seen this on other videos, I was still rather fascinated by it. This set was another one that wasn't planned either. And after I did the pom-pom nails, I figured to do another poly gel because there had been much time since I have and just freestyled this one. The one thing I knew though is that I wanted to have one nail fully covered with stones because I had yet to do that too. So I left the ring finger for that and I'll come back to it. And here's a close up. I didn't use a lot of poly gel to start and will build more of a shape with clear later. I was pretty much in a mindset as if I was doing acrylic, but doing this technique with poly gel allows so much time to work it and form it how you want before curing. In fact, I want to be sure to mention that I use a small amount of base coat. Base coat helps the brush glide over the poly gel as you manipulate it in place. And in the small dappen dish that you're seeing, I have 70% alcohol, which I use to keep my brush clean of any poly gel sticking to it. It doesn't take much of either because using too much will cause overhang and spillage. You know, like those little clear stick out extensions that you end up getting? But you'll get to know how much to use as you try various brands of poly gel because there's so many with different densities. So I had some excess when I got to the free edge and this can be saved to use on the next nail but never put it back with your fresh unused product because this will cause cross contamination. Sometimes when I feel awkward or cramped to hold my position in frame, I use a prop to make it more comfortable. Remember this? It was a nail hack in a short video a while back. But I just can't remember why I forgot to put my protective gloves on. Other than probably because things have been changed around in my room since I did my nail area tour. And if you haven't seen that, there'll be a link in my description box. So, I edited out doing the thumb because you get the idea by now. 
and I start in with this glitter poly gel on the ring finger to serve as a background for the bling. But, unfortunately, the color really didn't match this set. It's all good though, because the bling will cover it mostly, and it's still pretty and sparkly. And here's the clear. At this point, I'm working to build structure like making sure there's an apex. And I think it's coming out pretty nice. Don't you think? If you like it so far, maybe hit the like button. And always remember to clean any inhibition layer with a lint-free wipe, but y'all know I'm using paper towel for now, right? <laughs> Then I caught myself trying to show some filing, but this is pretty difficult, guys. Because I kept wanting to bring my fingers in closer to me, but that would be out of frame. A glossy no white top coat and I'll continue to remind you that I showed that base coat could be used to secure lightweight bling. Now don't sleep on this because this saves those coins. Then, 
it started bothering me that the glitter wasn't a match and I went in with this color polish before adding the full bling. and a little chrome finish to the middle finger. You know what, it felt a little odd in the end while wrapping this set up because you can see the pinky and index finger stayed changed in color and I just couldn't get used to it. But I think it still turned out nice. Thank you so much for your compliments. And if you like this, this playlist will take you to more poly gel videos, especially the ones with the pom poms. And I hope you enjoy. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Much love.